Hi, I'm John from HeatAddicts.com. And I'm Julia. And today we're going to be showing you how to make five bean crock pot chili with chocolate boot jalokias. Sounds tasty. Yep, yep. These, ha these are uh, sent to us from Jim Dovey at Refining Fire Chilies, SuperHotChilies.com. Thanks, Jim. And, yep, thanks again. <laughs> and yeah, before we dig in, go and look at the directions and the ingredients for making this, just like this. Check it out. Yep, see you soon. Ingredients. Two pounds ground beef, one whole white onion, diced, one whole garlic bulb, minced, four large jalapenos, de-seeded and diced, seven chocolate boot jalokias, de-seeded and diced, five cans of beans, pink, great northern, dark kidney, red kidney, and black, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one small can of tomato paste, one packet of chili seasoning, one teaspoon of ghost chili powder, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one bottle of barbecue sauce. Cook ground beef in a large skillet until brown. Drain thoroughly and transfer to crock pot. In same skillet, cook onion and garlic until onion becomes transparent. Transfer to crock pot. Add diced jalapenos and chocolate boots. Add chili seasoning and ghost chili powder. Add tomato paste, diced tomatoes, and Worcestershire sauce. Add beans and pour in an entire bottle of barbecue sauce. Cook on low for four hours, stirring occasionally. After four hours, set crock pot to warm for one additional hour before serving. Makes approximately eight servings. For extra heat, add more hot peppers during last hour or garnish when serving. All right, then we're back. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Smelling wonderful in here right now, and I am hungry. We, it, it's, it's one of those things about chili. It just permeates the entire place. Oh, you're, yeah. I'm starving for hours <laughs> with a yeah. crock pot chili. Just, yeah, like John said, the whole apartment smells lovely. Um, but since John is starving here, I'll let him dig in first. Oh, I um, the first bite this while time. he is chowing down here, I will say um, I was cutting up the peppers, and the pepper, as I was cutting it, and it had a very sweet aroma to it, a very perfumey smell. Um, I even took the stem to the tip of my tongue just to get an idea of what I was in, uh, what I was getting myself into, and it was really tasty. It, it had a very nice tingle to the tongue, and um, it was an and, intense and, burn. Yeah, it, but, but it had an, a very intense burn, and the second I swallowed, it just attacked my throat. Mm. Like it, it's it's definitely a very it's a very burly uh, pepper. It's burly like pepper, but I I enjoyed the taste of it, and I cannot wait to try it in the chili. So I'm going to do that now. No, no, it, it definitely has a throat burn. Like it, this is attacking my throat. A chocolate boot is no joke, but it is really tasty. It's blended in really well with this. I think I'm going to be lit up by the time I finish this. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. Like you taste the flavor mm. of the pepper in there. I taste the pepper because when I tried it in the beginning, I kind of have an idea of how it tastes and it's really shining through this chili right now. It, it has a nice burn on the tongue. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This like is it, a good time. This is really good. Like it's perfect on the spice for me. It's kind of creeping up a little bit, but mm, it is all I thought it would be. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's definitely worth the wait. 
Mm. Mm. I, and this cornbread went perfectly with it too. Mm -hmm. By the way, we'll have another video up for the recipe for the cornbread that we uh, mixed with this chili. And we used um, Jim Duffy ahi pineapples yep. ahi in pineapple. the cornbread, so we'll link it all together. But um, oh man! Anyway, we'll, we'll open my beer right now. Yep, we're gonna crack open our beer, and we're gonna dig in here in just a second. But we're gonna let you guys go. If you guys make this, let us know what you think of it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is. A, We've been making crock pot chili for years and our, our recipe has evolved and now that we're adding super hot pe peppers to the mix, this is like bordering on Whole, perfection. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely taken on another dimension and we're getting close. We've been perfecting it every year and it's that much closer with this pepper. It's it's tasty. I'm really in, I'm really loving the burn right now. Mm -hmm. the it's a nice burn. The aftertaste. It's, it, this pepper is great. Well, on that note, I am John. <laughs> and I'm Julia. Keep it saucy. Keep it saucy.